When we return, close encounters of the second kind. Some UFO researchers claim that extraterrestrials have left behind traces of physical evidence. Why would it be exactly 36 and a half, no matter how you measure it? It's 40 behind some form of physical evidence. Two types are most often reported. First, the bodies of cattle, horses, and occasionally wild animals, mutilated by some sort of high-tech equipment. Second, are crop circles, enormous, elaborate designs that appear overnight, stamped into the fields, as if by some heavenly artist. To my amazement, there was a huge circle in an RC rape field up there. I nearly crashed the car because I was so excited. The crop circle phenomenon began in the mid-1970s. English farmers started finding giant circles in their fields, pressed into their crops with the precision of a cookie cutter. Many thought it must all be some kind of hoax, or perhaps funny weather. It was strange, though. There were never any unusual tracks leading out to the circles, and no reports of odd weather. Baffled scientists flocked to circle locations, hoping to find a reasonable explanation for the phenomenon. But one by one, theories blaming disease, helicopters, tornadoes, and hoax artists were shot down. I've come across many hoaxes, and you can tell them within two minutes, because the normal circles, the call is to simply gently move down and the stalks are not broken. Anybody that tries to reproduce a hoax circle by chain, trampling, any way you may think will damage the structure of the crop involved. What does it all mean? Well, this is one case where your guess is probably as good as any. There are as yet no prevailing theories on how the circles are being formed. Remember, we are stepping into the unknown. Banded together into an organization for scientific examination of the circles, British researchers are baffled at the fact the bent over crops keep growing and show no signs of any physical contact. They say their evidence does indicate the circles are formed in about five to 10 seconds and are caused by some tugging force, though the roots are not pulled from the soil. And the circles aren't confined only to Britain. <laughs> Japan is one of the many places crop circles have shown up in the last few years, along with Canada and here in the United States, throughout the Midwest, in towns like Milan, Illinois. I thought to myself, how could anything do that without it didn't come out of the sky and come down here? Now they almost come down and do this because there's no way it could get in here. No alien droppings whatsoever, no. It might be a tornado or some kind of a wind, but it's, why would it be exactly 46 and a half? No matter how you measure it, it's 46 and a half. During the last few years, while the rest of the world got used to the appearance of crop circles, British farmers found their encounters changing. Now, they weren't just circles anymore. The most amazing thing was that in 1990, in May, we started getting these pictograms, which are these dumbbell or barbell-shaped uh, formations with various features coming out of them, features like hands and claws, uh, semicircles on the end, all of these things. We've never seen anything like that before. The British hoaxsters who recently claimed credit for the crop circles could demonstrate only the crudest designs, and the quality and quantity of their handiwork left most experts unconvinced. When you go into the extra pieces that were there, the claw features, key pattern, that sort of thing, we found they were still as precise, and the floor patterns were very, very precise. It is impossible to reproduce an entire structure like that, which is nearly 300 feet in length, without creating an immense amount of damage in its construction. Despite attempts by a wide range of experts, no one has been able to photograph a circle being made. But strange sounds have often been recorded lingering within the circle area, sounds that can best be described as a trilling noise. And researchers do get plenty of reports of strange sightings. We've got, oh, at least, at least 20 or more cases of uh, circles which are formed following the following UFO activity or following globes of light which have descended into the field or lights which have uh, shone beams down into the field. Clearly, they uh, seem to be related to electromagnetism. There's overwhelming evidence of that. But how electromagnetic forces can produce this effect, we don't know. What I think is becoming very clear now is that we are forced to conclude that because these patterns are very symmetrical and very beautiful, 
that they are designs. They are designs, and therefore there's a designer. And therefore there's an intelligence of some sort behind the design.